Hello everyone. Sometimes life is really unfair, and bad things can happen to good people. But even when there seems to be no hope and you want to give up, you must not quit. In today's video, we've compiled several stories of amazing transformations that have happened to the most ordinary people. They prove once again that you can always change to improve your life. Let's get it on. Jose Antonio since we were kids, people have been telling us that we should not judge people by their appearance, but it's still difficult to avoid falling into stereotypes, especially when you see a homeless person. Jose Antonio, 55, spent the last 25 years of his life on the streets. He used to work as an electrician, but lost his job and his home after suffering from depression. The people of Palma de Mallorca know Jose as a friendly homeless person who tries to earn money every day working as an unlicensed car parking attendant. Jose helped people park their cars, and he looked like an average homeless person with long grey hair and an unkempt beard. But then on one occasion, he ended up in the Salon La Salvajeria, invited by the owner of the place. The man offered Jose a free haircut and a complete makeover, and of course the poor man accepted, but he didn't even know what would happen afterwards. It wasn't an easy task, because Jose's long dirty hair and his beard had to be combed and trimmed. The hairdresser also dyed his hair dark brown to make Jose look younger and help him find a better job. The stylists even worked on the man's eyebrows. During those hours in the salon, he received more attention than he'd seen in many years. The locals also gave Jose a white shirt, red pants, elegant shoes, and fashion designer glasses. But the most interesting thing was that the man could not see himself in the mirror until his transformation was complete, and only then did they open the mirror. Jose couldn't restrain his feelings and burst into tears. He looked so different that he barely recognized his own reflection. Jose went from being a homeless person to an elegant man with a can-do attitude. He changed so much that even the locals who saw Jose every day and knew him well couldn't believe what they were witnessing. So Jose not only got a new look, but also the chance to start a new life. Gwilym Pugh but Jose's transformation is not the only amazing story we have today. At the age of 21, Gwilym Pugh from England started his own business and found success. Gwilym ran his insurance company from home, and although this may seem like a dream to many, working at home actually has its drawbacks. The sedentary lifestyle and a knee injury forced the guy to stop playing basketball, and he put on a lot of weight. Gwilym worked 12 hours a day and had nothing else to do in his spare time. He had no problem with his business, so he decided to improve his lifestyle, but this required him to regain his health. At about the same time, he and a friend of his started a country folk rock band called the Magic Rooster Brothers. The barber suggested that he grow a beard to look more like a country folk rock musician, and Pew agreed. After all, a musician must look good. However, Gwilym decided not only to grow a thick beard, but also to change his diet and stop eating takeaway food. He also ceased working from his bed and became more active, trying to take at least 15,000 steps a day. This played a crucial role in his transformation. So you're afraid of, heights, afraid of heights, and you decided to take on Crib Goch, which is one of the most ex exposed ridgelines in the UK. Yep. When he started losing weight, Gwilym decided to create an Instagram account, and all of a sudden, he became famous. Soon, he was chosen as the image of a Nathan Palmer clothing collection, which finally made him believe in himself. And then, everything changed. Contracts, photo shoots, admirers, you know, the crazy life of any modern model. Today, Gwilym is considered a successful model, working for magazines such as GQ and Hunger, as well as with David Beckham. The man has an army of fans on Instagram, where he has more than 338,000 followers. Daphne Self Daphne Self's story is truly amazing. Born in London in 1928, she survived World War II and won a local modeling contest at the age of 21. This is how Daphne began working in the fashion industry. Stick out your tongue. <laughs> 
Over the years of her professional career, she posed as a model for artists, she worked in a fashion house, appeared in commercials for various products, from clothes to cereals. She was a real star of her time. Later, Daphne got married and devoted herself entirely to her family. Giving birth to three children did nothing to the figure of the model, so she didn't refuse to participate in fashion shows occasionally. Still, she always put her husband and her children first, and has been doing so for a long time. But when Daphne was in her 70s, her husband died after a long illness. It was a tragedy for the whole family. Of course, each person experiences the loss of a close person in different ways. Some hide from society, others try to keep themselves busy to drive away sad thoughts. And Daphne decided to go back to her favorite job. Yes, at the age of 70, she became a model again. Who would dare do such a thing? But Daphne appeared on the cover of Vogue magazine and immediately rose to fame. Despite her age, the woman stepped on the catwalk and featured in photo shoots for Dolce & Gabbana, Ralph Lauren, and Harper's Bazaar. But how is she doing today? Well, on July the 1st, 2018, Daphne turned 90. She has been officially recognized as the oldest professional model in the world, even entering the Guinness Book of Records. But this achievement is no limit for Daphne. She relishes her work and cannot imagine her life without fashion, modeling, and fashion shows. Her agenda is booked for six months in advance, and many younger models envy her. We'd like to admit that Daphne looks gorgeous, especially for her age. Maybe because she doesn't try to look any younger. She doesn't resort to plastic surgery either. Daphne's secret is cosmetics, yoga, a good diet, love of life, inner harmony, and genetics. Angela and Bradley McManus does it take a lot to change? Sometimes all you have to do is alter your diet and practice sports, and you'll become a completely different person. The story of Angela and her son Bradley is great proof of that. Angela from Newcastle, a mother of two, was a longtime fan of ready-made dishes, such as frozen chicken, and wasn't really concerned that her children lived off french fries and chicken nuggets. It is very sad, but quite common in many parts of the world. They kept on living like this because it was the cheapest and easiest option. Angela admitted that she hadn't even thought about doing anything to change the situation. But one day, the whole family went snowboarding, and Angela suddenly realized she didn't feel the same joy. Instead, she was short of breath, had trouble moving, and fun turned into torture. All this really frightened the woman, because she was almost 50 years old. She had to do something. So, Angela decided to refuse the pre-cooked meals and instead started cooking healthy foods. Surprisingly, it came even cheaper. Not only did the woman start going to the gym, she hired a personal trainer so there was no way for her to make excuses. Suddenly, these two simple things, a good diet and sports, gave Angela a great deal of energy she couldn't even dream of. Seeing his mum's progress, Bradley decided to join her, and he suddenly changed too. The boy had been pretty chubby all of his life, avoided exercise except football, and liked to eat pastry. Angela advised advised her son to start working with a professional trainer and change his diet too, and he followed her advice. Now, if you compare the before and after pictures, you won't even believe it's the same person. The mother and the son carry on practicing sports, continue with their diets, and help each other so as to not lose progress. Nevertheless, it is unlikely they will ever be able to give up a healthy lifestyle at that point, because not only did it change Angela and Bradley's appearance, but it also made them feel much better than before. Shirapion. When a relationship ends, one of the ex-partners probably thinks, okay, right now I'm gonna start exercising, improve my shape, and then he or she will understand that it was a huge mistake. However, most of the time these promises are just words, but not in the case of Shirapion, a man from Japan. When his wife left him, he was devastated. We should admit that at the time he didn't look very attractive. He was going bald, wore glasses, and was overweight, like many men his age. And Although appearance is not the most important thing in a relationship, 
Sharapion was definitely not a handsome man. For some time after the divorce, he was completely self-absorbed, but suddenly decided to remember his youth. When he was a college student, he used to go to the gym all the time, but eventually, like many people, he gave up this habit. The breakup made him think of his old hobbies, but he didn't start hitting the gym. Sharapion decided he wanted to participate in bodybuilding competitions. It was a difficult dream to achieve, considering he didn't look very sporty, but a motivating slogan on the poster of a bodybuilding competition opened his eyes. Sharapion realized that by changing, he could put the past behind him, and he got to work. With the help of a diet and proper workout, the man managed to lose 12 kilograms of weight. Although he was unable to qualify at his first competition, Sharapion improved his physical condition and became really famous in Japan. In addition to the competitions, the man was invited as a model to various entertainment events, presentations, and cosplay festivals. And no wonder with such a body. The new hobby also gave him a new love. The man married a girl just as enthusiastic about sports as he is. In his spare time, Sharapion works for a company that deals with medical equipment. By the way, he shares his story not as a way to show off, but to motivate others to change. If you want to be reborn, do it while you're still alive, says the bodybuilder. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 